That's most kids, so that was cool. Uh, my sister was good at drawing and she inspired me at first, but I grew up next to the railroad tracks on Jensen. So it was just looking at graffiti every day. It's just, it was unavoidable. It was a lot of color. Yeah. And uh, that really got my mind going. Uh, in high school, I started doing graffiti. I mean, the trains were just right there. I just had to walk to them. And uh, there was an art teacher who encouraged me to try murals. And you know, that's, that's, where, that's where the fuse began between graffiti art and muralism. I mean, as a teenager, you're kind of always trying, trying it out at first. So uh, yeah, there's, there's a, it wasn't so much the legality, more than the consciousness. Um, there was, there's a lack of consciousness in, in a lot of graffiti. And uh, I realized that I, I wanted to beautify, I didn't want to destroy or damage anything, you know? Yeah. So that's, that's where, um, that's why I was able to like transition out of graffiti for the most part. Um, but the culture, like, re always it, it, it becomes a political know, the statement, the whether you want to or not, you know. And so there's there's a sense of responsibility that you need to take on. Um, you need to uh, be aware of what community it is, who lives there, um, what their needs are. Um, you need to try to integrate yourself. It's hard to just kind of show up somewhere and just say, "I'm here to do something," and I don't know anyone. So it's a it's a taking that approach of connecting with the communities. I especially uh, like to uh, do work in um, areas like uh, West Fresno, Chinatown, East Fresno, uh, and of course Tower District, you know, that's it's the most accepting neighborhood. Um, so um, it's, uh, it's fulfilling, you know. The main point is that you're sending out a positive message that's going to reinforce something or question something or critique something that eventually is going to lead to better thought, more critical thinking, or at least a product that everybody's going to enjoy. And I always think of the kids, I always think of a, of a child walking to school and seeing the mural mm -hmm. and being inspired for the day, or feeling happy at least. And you see it so often that you don't realize it, but it's part of, it's part of that little sprinkle of happiness that you kind of see in the morning, hopefully, you know? Yeah. There's, there's a piece of Salvador Dali, can't remember the name, and it's the Madonna and Child, and Dali cuts a square through the Madonna and another square through the child and it looks perfectly geometric going through the body and um, that gave me the idea of creating a figure where the figure is opening up his or her chest it doesn't have to be fully defined whether it's a man or a woman and um, you're able to see about you're able to dig into it could be a little bit ambiguous um, but the symbolism is, 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 is just perfectly there. You're looking into someone's soul, as really, you know? As murals that aren't around anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, some because they were, uh, they were done in the more graffiti approach. So they're, they're not around, you know, the city is, uh, the city looks out for murals like that. And uh, sometimes they don't last too long. Yeah. Um, I can't tell you, if I had to guess here in the valley, I would say about 25. You either have a blank book or you have a book that something was written and it might have been something silly, something silly that was written but you still wrote it and you no longer have a blank book and that's that's been my approach all this time like I, I might not be doing the ideal murals they might not be connecting with everybody but I hope that they are putting out something positive I hope that there's a kid on their way to school at least a few kids on their way to school that do notice it I hope there's uh, some people that do appreciate it. So I, I look at the positive side. And, uh, but I think the, the great thing is that uh, you fast forward uh, 10 years now, me doing this, and there is a pretty good amount of community support now. Um, I just finished a mural in Chinatown and the community has been really supportive. Yeah, in different aspects and, and I, 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 I do know at this point that there's, there's a lot oh, of yeah, acceptance. Yeah, uh, if anybody out there is listening, um, I'm not the only muralist here. There's a lot of really talented muralists like myself have traveled overseas in many countries. And uh, we want to do a top building. A what? A big building. Oh, okay. We want to do one of the big buildings. You're talking 10 stories. We want to give Fresno like a face you know we want to give downtown a face and be representative towards downtown yeah, yeah so we want to go big like 
I, I personally want to go big. The bigger, the better. Like, if I can get a crane, you know, to lift me up, that's, that's, that's what I want to do. And I'm not the only one in town. We're just looking for the means to do it.